It's delayed. Let me oh, just, okay. Let me Going see, live. Let me You're live. Yeah, yeah, we're live. Let me sure okay, Yeah, that would be the big, good one.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night, in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha, and the Omega. All time belongs to Him, and all the ages. To Him be glory and power, through every age and forever. Amen. By his holy wounds, and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds.
from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless in wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw how good light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came, and morning followed, the first day. Then God said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters, to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened, God made the dome. And it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came, and morning followed, the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin, so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin, and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth, and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seeds in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed, the third day. Then God said, let there be light in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day, the lesser one to govern the night, and he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed, the fourth day. Then God said, Let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and so let earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the waters of the sea, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things on the earth. God saw how good it was, then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image, in the image of God, and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it, to be your food. And all the animals of the land, and all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures, that crawl on the ground. I gave all the green plants for food, and so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. Thanks be to God.
who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you, lift up your staff, and with hands outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory, though Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them, so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of the Israelites. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. Into the night watch, just before dawn. The Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into panic. And so he clawed their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians upon their chariots, upon their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on towards the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the powers of the Egyptians. When Israel saw Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant horse and chariots he has cast into the sea. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor, even in our day. For what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Feed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David, as I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation, a nation you know not, and nations that know you shall not run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above, above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of this present age, graciously increased the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Baruch. Hear, O Israel, the commandments of life. Listen, and now for dense. How is it, Israel, that you are in the land of your foes, grown old in a foreign land, defiled with the dead, accounted with those destined for the netherworld? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. Had you walked in the way of God, you would have dwelt in enduring peace. Learn where prudence is, where strength, where understanding, that you may know also where are the length of days and light, where light of the eyes and peace. Who has found the place of wisdom? Who has entered into her treasures? The one who knows all things knows her. He has probed her by his knowledge. The one who established the earth for all time and filled it with four-footed beasts, who was dismissed the light and it depart, called it and it obeyed him trembling, before whom the stars at their post shine and rejoice. When he calls them, they answer, here we are, shining with a joy for their maker. Such is our God. No other is to be compared to him. He has traced out the whole way of understanding and has given her to Jacob, his servant to Israel, his beloved son. Since then, she has appeared on earth and moved among people. She is the book of the precepts of God, the law that endures forever. All who claim to her will live, but those who die, but those will die who forsake her. Turn, O Jacob, and receive her. Walk by her light towards splendor. Give not your glory to another, your privilege to an alien race, Blessed are we, O Israel, for what pleases God is known to us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
but constantly increase your church by your call to the nations. Graciously grant to those you wash clean in the waters of baptism the assurance of your unfailing protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel lived in the land, they defiled it by their conduct and deeds. Therefore I poured out my fury upon them because of the blood that they poured out on the ground, and because they defiled it with idols. I scattered them among the nations, dispersing them over foreign lands. According to their conduct and deeds, I judged them. But when they came among the nations, wherever they came, they served to profane my holy name, because it was said of them, These are the people of the Lord, yet they had to leave their land. So I have relented because of my holy name, which the house of Israel profaned among the nations where they came. Therefore, Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Not for your sake do I act, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you profane among the nations to which you came. I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations sh shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and a place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts, and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O God of unchanging power and eternal light, look with favor on the wondrous mystery of the whole church and serenely accomplish the work of human salvation, which you planned 
from all eternity. May the whole world know and see that what was cast down is raised up. And what had become old is made new. And all things are restored to integrity through Christ, just as by him they came into being, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
especially Japanese beetles. They need to be sprayed to protect them from the deer. They find them absolutely delicious. You have to keep an eye out for moles and voles because while moles are fine, they create the tunnels that the voles use to eat the roots. Sometimes, well, I look on all that work, I look at those, those roses, and I think, geez, is this really worth it? Is all this work that I got to put into this worth it? And then I look at the flowers the bushes produced. And I was reminded how wonderful they really are. How much they reminded me, and hopefully everyone that saw them, of the magnificence of God. That God designed those beautiful flowers and blessed this earth with them. It was then that I was able to say, yeah, it's worth it all, right? All that hard work produces something of God in this world. That is Easter. It was when God looked at his people and saw that they were temperamental but hardy. He saw that we thrive under certain conditions, that we need to be fed, we need to be trimmed and cut, we need to be cared for, and we need to be loved. It is when, in the face of all of that hard work, God said, Jeez, are these people of mine worth it? Yeah, they're worth it all right. So much so that I am going to give to them my only begotten son. And to show just how much we all are loved and appreciated by God, that only begotten Son willingly gave himself on the cross for us. And just as important, he was resurrected from death for us. Through his obedience to the Father, Jesus suffers, he dies, and he is brought to life again. He is the manifestation of the hard work and care the Father, not unlike those roses. He responded to the love of the Father with the love that only can come from the Son. He is also our promise of the same hard work and care God puts into all of us. On our part, we are called to be the flowers in the garden that display to the entire world how good he is. I'd like to think that if one day my roses got together with the roses in the other neighborhoods, that my roses would have the pride of saying, no one is as good to their roses as Father Stokes is to us. We should be able to say the same exact thing no one is as good to us as he is. Our current situation, it's difficult, and maybe even more than difficult, it's just annoying, weird. However, it is an amazing opportunity to display the goodness of the Creator, His Son, and the love they share, which is the Holy Spirit. That's the Trinity. It's an opportunity to show that we exist and flourish, not by our own hands, but by those of the divine gardener. And that brings me back to one of my favorite saints, top three. So it's like Jesus, Blessed Mother, and Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene's a hot ticket. She gets it, but she doesn't know that she's getting it. When she's in the garden, she sees the stranger. She's like, oh, I thought you were the gardener. <laughs> he is the gardener. He's the divine gardener. 
He recreates Eden. So that's how we have to look at our Lord. Like Mary Magdalene does. Seeing it, calling it out. Lord, you've done a great job with me. But you know what? There's still a lot of work left to do. There's still a lot that I need to learn. So it may hurt sometimes, Lord, but trim me. Prune me. Get all of that stuff away that's keeping me from being the most beautiful and wondrous representation of you. So that in your time, I may know the resurrection that is you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounce Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, and just because you're home, I don't want you to cop out on this, do you renounce Satan? I do. I do. I do. And all his works? I, I do. do. And all his empty show? I, I do. do. Do you renounce Satan? I, I do. do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I, I, I do. do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I, I do. do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Basking in the glory of the Paschal Candle, we now pray. That the resurrection of Jesus Christ will endow the church with new life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That justice, compassion, concord, and peace will transfigure our wounded world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Easter Hallelujah will strengthen and direct our President, Congress, Governors, and all civil leaders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who suffer will experience in their bodies the victory of Christ's empty tomb, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we will come to share in the concrete power of the resurrection in the areas of our lives where we need it the most. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Christ your Son is risen from the dead. May we rise with him, for Jesus is our Lord, now and forever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all this holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Chosen. 
Be pleased, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with his eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this pastoral sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Parents, make sure to bring your kids to Mass today, even if it's in front of the screen. So keep in mind, faith brought you here. Faith is a gift from God. 
Don't throw it away because it's valuable and it's going to be even more valuable down the road. I want to thank all those who have helped uh, make this Mass and other Masses that we've been streaming possible. I also want to thank uh, those who have, have been very good in supporting this parish in this time of need. So thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. Bow down and pray for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. 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 Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast, come with Christ's help, and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.